Though the pressures of life Seems to weigh you down And you don't know Which way to turn God is concerned And is working it out For you The child that's on cocaine Through prayer he can change That marriage That's on the verge Of breaking up Although sometimes You have to walk on oh, no. Now you ask yourself Is there a word from the Lord Or 
wish I had the time to tell you a story about a man called Shelly John. But I don't have that time tonight. But you gotta realize if old John was here after going through, he'd look back at that old mule and said, Since I can't shout in your church, and since I can't dance in your church, oh, my mule, I feel like shouting right now. I come to tell somebody I feel like praising, praising him. Well, well, help me out, y'all.
and my brother was a pastor. Me and Ann here, we were the members in the church. And let me tell you something. It's hard to come in contact with Jesus and still be the same. I don't care who you are. I don't care you can be the chiefest of sinners. You will never be the same. And I've forgotten I've been going down to the church playing church. Came home still disobedient. Didn't want to wash the dishes. Didn't want to bring the clothes in off the line. Didn't want to do anything. Mama said, I'm sick of you going down to that church playing with God. Me and Ann there, we went outdoors. We started playing church. Sat down on the bottom step. My brother was a preacher. And we were the members in the church. And he put some old glasses and put them right here on his nose. And he said, I, he said, I want you to jump up and shout Jesus three times. And I jumped up and I shouted Jesus two times. But when I jumped up the third time, something got a hold of me. I couldn't sit back down. And ran in the house. She said, Mama, so Shirley is out there playing with the Lord. Mama came to the door. But she looked out there and saw me shouting and dancing all over the backyard, tears running down my face. It's just a life. Mama looked out there and she said, she ain't playing this time.
know what a miracle is. Go out to the hospital. Go to Mount Sinai. Go down on Skid Row. And look how blessed you are. A miracle is that supernatural gift that only God can give. When you look at me, you're looking at a miracle. Three years ago, one of the members in my church who, who rides along in the scooter because she couldn't walk. And I saw her in the mall. I said, I said Sister Deborah, God told me that he's going to heal you. She said, thank you, Pastor. And her mother just went on. And every Sunday she came to church, still couldn't walk. A few Sundays ago, just before we brought the message, and I got some witnesses in here tonight from Mount Calvary. I walked over to her, I said, God said he's going to heal you. She had not walked in over 10 years. She got up. Across the front of the church. Walk down the aisle. I come to life to tell you, you next in line for a miracle. I don't care what the devil is saying. You next in line right now. Don't need 
wiping her hands on an apron she took it in her hands and she read it and this is what it said for more in the yard five dollars if I'm making up my own bed this week one dollar for going to the store 50 cents and playing with little brother while you went shopping 25 cents take it out the trash one dollar for getting a good report card, five dollars. And for raking the yard, two dollars. Total owed, fourteen seventy-five. Well, she looked at him standing there and expecting, and a thousand memories flashed through her mind. So she picked up the pen and turned the paper over, and this is what she wrote. For the nine months I carried you Throw it inside me No charge For the nights I sat up with you Doctor, you prayed for you No charge For the time and the tears And the cost through the years There is no charge charge son when you add it all up the full cost of my love is no charge well you know when I think about that I think about the day that Jesus went out on Calvary and gave his life as a ransom for me when I think on the words if any man be in Christ he's a new creature 
I like to think that the very minute that he shed his blood, my debt was paid in full. And I want you to know today, when you add it all up, the full cost of real love is no charge.
Yeah. 